Take a deep breath, brothers. That's why I married my wife. I'm a smart man. I married a smart, intelligent woman who's got so much leadership quality that she becomes my wonderful teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, do not suffocate other people's vision, including your spouse. You know, this afternoon, I'm going to talk to the men this afternoon, but let me just talk to the men in the front of the women for a second. A lot of men think that women were born to cook food for them. To be in the kitchen. Where's that in the Bible? Sit up straight. Look at me. When you read the Constitution, that's the Bible, you will discover that the cooks in the Bible are not women. Uh oh. They are the men. You don't believe me, right? Okay, let's prove it. <laughs> Abraham had a son. His son was named... What was his name? Isaac. Isaac had two sons. What were their names? Jacob, Esau. Okay. Isaac is God's promised son. And Isaac is about to die. Now, when a man is about to die, he wants the best of everything before he dies. <laughs> so Isaac is on his deathbed. And Isaac says, you know something? Uh, I'm about to die. I know I'm going to die. I want the best meal before I die. His wife was right there. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Sit up straight now. Talk to me. Isaac said, I don't want you to cook, woman. You can't cook. I want my son to cook. He cooks the best meal, he says. <laughs> well, are men the cooks? Let's find out. Jesus Christ went to the cross, died, rose again in the resurrected body. He was sitting on the beach watching the disciples in the boat. And he said to them, caught anything? They said, no. He said, put the net on the other side. And they realized, hey, that's the master. So Peter jumped out of the boat and began to run in the water. And it says, and Jesus was on the shore cooking for them. Come on, guys, clap with me. All the men who want to be like Jesus, hold your hand up, please. All right. That means you got to learn to cook. Thank you very much. Give God a big hand. He was a cook. Women are leaders and they have vision. Stop oppressing them. Let them have dominion. Male and female. Have you ever asked your wife, what is your vision? No, you never. Because you just assume she ain't got none. And that's why you are broke. Come on, ladies, clap for me just for a couple of seconds here. Get it out. I am a wealthy man today because of my wife. Her ideas are amazing. Every 
one was born to be a leader. 